when you add an activity to frog we can uh, first choose the activity type so we might say that this is a, um, a brainstorm and um, I'm going to put this on this level and we can preview this activity here and in the preview we can add information and we can see how this um, activity works. Now if we want to um, save this as a template for the students, this is a new functionality, we can click on this uh, uh, save uh, icon here and it tells us the template has been stored. If we close this and we open preview again, we see that it's now not starting from scratch but it's starting from the stored template. We also see here the line activity has data template. We can click show and again we see the data template. We also have a choice here um, for each graph uh, session it will duplicate this um, and the general activity data will be duplicated for each instance but the learning items that are part of this activity in this case the idea that I created uh, by the by um, default are not uh, duplicated within the graph session so each group would get the same learning items um, but we can also toggle that here um, and finally we can remove the template data so let's quickly see what that looks like uh, I'm going to put this on and make it an individual activity and I'm going to have um, I'll just turn this into a session and I'll open four students so when we uh, open these four students, we see that they all got the template that I predefined. Uh, however, if I go in here and I edit this template, you see that right now the learning item is shared among the four students, even though, for example, the voting data, which is part of the activity, is not shared. So if I go back here and I say I want um, duplicate lease, so I want every student to have their own Lee, and I just reload this session. It looks exactly the same, but this time, if I'm editing it here, we see that it's um, not changing any of the other students' um, data. So this can be very useful for uh, many different things. Um, we can add uh, some text that the students should edit. Um, one thing that we've done sometimes is um, for example, in this other graph here, um, we have an activity um, where the students are um, given access to a few different items, and then each student needs to um, sort these according to category. So this is one way in which we can use this template functionality. Um, and these, uh, the template data is stored as part of the graph and is also transmitted if you download the graph or if you upload it to the cloud and so on.